Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up OneDrive in Windows 11. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop on my computer. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open File Explorer. If you don't find this right here, just go ahead and open the Start menu and then search for File Explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on Open. And then you're going to be right here. Once you're here, go to the left and then you're going to find all of the sections. You're going to find Home, Gallery, OneDrive, Desktop, Downloads, and so on. Go ahead and click on OneDrive, the OneDrive folder. And then right click on it. And here you're going to find all of the settings related to OneDrive. You're going to find the option to copy. Copy it. Here you can expand it. Open a new tab. Open in a new window. Pick to quick access. Pick to, pin to start. And here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find the option to always keep on this device, free of space, and here you're going to find OneDrive settings. Go ahead and click on OneDrive. Then right here, you're going to find the option to view it online. Here you're going to find settings and folder color. Go ahead and click on settings. And then this will take you right here. First of all, if it's unlinked, make sure you link this PC by clicking on link this PC right here. As you can see, guys, in my case, it's already linked. And then once you do that, just go to sync and backup right here. And then here you're going to find all of the settings. Here you're going to find backup important PC folders to OneDrive, backup your desktop documents and pictures folders to OneDrive. So they're protected and available on other devices. Go ahead and click on manage backup. And then make sure you turn all of these options on right here, as you can see, guys. And then once you do that, go ahead and click on save changes. Make sure you click on save changes. So all of this will be saved. Also go here and then right here, you're going to find save photos and videos from devices. Save photos and videos to OneDrive when I connect a camera, phone, or any other device to my PC. Go ahead and turn this option on. And then here you're going to find save screenshots I capture to OneDrive. Open this, uh, make sure you turn this option also on. And then you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.